Hi everyone, this is Mr. Richmond, and for this video we're going to talk about the Keeling Curve. So back in the 1950s, we have a gentleman by the name of Richard Keeling, who was taking these air samples at the summit of a volcano located in Hawaii. And in these air samples, he was able to determine how many carbon dioxide particles were in each sample. You're going to be seeing this unit of measurement, parts per million, that's often abbreviated as PPM. And what that means, if you have a sample of air containing nitrogen, oxygen, methane, carbon dioxide, whatever else is in that air sample, for every 1 million particles of air, approximately 320 for this example, 320 particles would be carbon dioxide for every 1 million of air particles. That doesn't sound like a lot, but it can be significant, and as Keeling noticed, it can also have an impact on the average global temperature. So he was finding that there was this correlation as carbon dioxide particles increase, as did the global temperature in our Earth's atmosphere. Another interesting observation that Keeling noticed, if you look closely at this graph, you can see it kind of dip down and back up, down and back up. And this was happening each year. So carbon dioxide levels, as Keeling found, were actually decreasing in the spring and summer months and then increasing during the fall and winter months. And what we kind of concluded from that observation or why we think that's happening, if you think of the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere in terms of the land ratio, actually 68% of the Earth's land comes from the northern hemisphere compared to 32% from the southern hemisphere. So during the spring and summer months, when vegetation in the northern hemisphere is in full bloom, that's why we are seeing that dip in carbon dioxide levels. So we have during the spring and summer months, all this vegetation in the northern hemisphere breathing in all those carbon dioxide particles. So during the northern hemisphere's fall and winter months, when vegetation starts to decay, break down, and die, and it's no longer breathing in CO2, that is going to result in Keeling's observation of carbon dioxide particles start to increase. So overall, you can see this trend. Uh, there could be other reasons for this increase in global temperature other than carbon dioxide, but this correlation is pretty interesting. I hope this helps you with your future assignments, and please, as always, don't hesitate to contact me if you have any questions. All right, good luck on your assignments. Take care.